In tonight's Dirty Dining Report, state inspectors shut down this local Spanish food restaurant for 24 hours in December. And over the last year and a half, dozens of critical violations were racked up in various reports. That's why it's found itself on my Dirty Dining List. Did you know that you had a problem with roaches back just two weeks ago? Oh, I didn't know it was a problem. Armando Flores has been the owner of Mandy's Restaurant on Waters Avenue in Tampa for the last five years. And this Spanish and Cuban food eatery has been in his family for 29 years. So when inspectors shut the place down for a roach infestation recently, he was surprised. You had no idea that things were this bad. Uh, you know, it could happen to, to uh, everyone because um, roaches in an old building could be everywhere. State inspectors closed Mandy's doors on December 6th for 24 hours after finding 220 live and dead roaches on the walls and shelves in the prep area and on glue traps. There is my invoice for 11 for November. Flores says he was paying an extermination company to spray every month, but it was clearly not doing the job. You changed pest control companies? Yes, because I don't trust this guy. But during that same December visit, inspectors found ham and dressing at too warm a temperature. The region cooler incapable of keeping cold food at 41 degrees or below. Food not date marked and holes in the ceiling throughout the establishment. So do you clean every day? Yes, many times a day. Over the last 17 months, Mandy's has been written up for 60 critical violations. And 10 of those were documented last July, when inspectors saw employees using their bare hands on ready-to-eat food. No proof of employee training. And raw animal foods not properly stored. But Flora showed us around and says conditions are now all up to code. And the food is safe to eat.